Hello everyone, and welcome back to Gaming on Caffeine. My name is Isaac, and we're back playing The Reckoning for Episode 3. And if you take a look in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen right now, you'll probably notice that there is a rather large day difference between Episode 2 and Episode 3. And that is because I have spent an awfully long time uh, sat here researching a bunch of stuff that we needed to get ourselves down to the Arcane Boar, which is this guy here, uh, Mining Evolved. This is basically the quote-unquote quarry of, uh, of Thorncraft. It, it's not exactly the same, but it is the automated mining system. Uh, in Thorncraft, and it's pretty flipping awesome. So what I did is I went and uh, looked online at which researchers I needed to get the uh, to unlock the arcane bar. And I'll tell you now, just to save you the trouble of going to look for it, if you're going to try to do this at home, uh, you're going to need uh, which ones is it now? You're going to need this guy here. You're going to need essential distillation, which requires alimentum and night to be discovered already. Uh, once you've got essential distillation, you should unlock um, this stuff down here, infusion crafting. But you won't yet have unlocked Arcane Bar. In order to get that, you need to have the one focus of uh, excavation. And once you've got that, you should then unlock the um, the Arcane Bar. I also did unlock uh, one focus of equal trade and the one focus of portable hull. I don't think you need these two. Once I said I did, once I, once I said I didn't, it was an old thing. So I think you only need excavation. But uh, if it doesn't come up, try getting these two as well. And I think that is about it. That's all you need. Uh, and then you should unlock the uh, the arcane bar. Now, I was hoping I could just jump in uh, and play with it. But it turns out we can't. We have to do quite a bit of Thorncrafty stuff before then, uh, which involves setting up some infusion crafting. Because the way this is made, as you can see, it's not really just like a, a nice normal crafting recipe. It's in sort of, sort of like a circle with something in the middle. Uh, this is infusion crafting. So in order to get this set up, we are going to have to do some of this stuff. And in order to do this, we need ourselves an arcane workbench. So... So, in order to get that, we are going to need to get ourselves, I believe, a Thorncraft table, like this. And I think it's just slabs and two... There we go, table. Throw it down, whack it with your wand, and boom, you get yourself an arcane work table. And now you can see the wand goes in here. For some reason, it doesn't fit in the slot that's already there. It goes in the wrong way. But anyway, the, the, the wand goes in there. And the reason for that is because some of the crafting recipes that you can do in the arcane work table uh, actually require some of the V from your wand to, to work. So you can see my wand has a certain amount of V in it. And I'll talk through how we get that V uh, in a second. But, uh, for instance, this first one requires 40 order in order to work. Now, if we have a look in here, we can see that we only have 18 order. And you can see at the top it says capacity 25. We can't actually get any more than 25 order at a time into our iron capped wooden wand. So, uh, if you want to be able to do, if you want to be able to make this thing here, the arcane work table, I'm flipping neck, I can see things flying. Um, if I want to be able to make this, I'm going to need to get a better wand, one that can hold 40 order. So, how do I get V in my wand in the first place? Well, there's two ways. You can either kill mobs, killing mobs will, they'll drop like little orbs that you can pick up and they will fill up your wand with certain amounts of V. Or what you can do is you can go and find aura nodes, which you may have noticed there are quite a few of them dotted around in the uh, in the vicinity. If I press M waypoint, you can see I found about 10 aura nodes uh, rounded about places. And if I go to one of these and try not to die... Okay, this seems okay. This is an aura node. You can see on the left there, aura node, Thorncraft. Uh, if we search it, we'll see that it has... I think that's terror. Maybe? I think that's supposed to be terror. It's a bit hard to see with the shaders on. But then what you can do is you can right-click on this and it will pull in... Oh, no, it's not terror. It's... Uh, air, I believe, then. So you see the air bar that's filling up the top there. So you've got air, terror, um, ignis, aqua, order, and predator, I want to say, in that order from top to bottom there, uh, up on the top left. And basically, you can fill these up. Different armor nodes have different amount of stuffs in them. So you do have to go around and find quite a few uh, if you want to pick them, uh, if you want to get all of them full. Uh, what you don't want to do is you don't want to empty them out. I'm just going to turn shaders off for just a second to show you this. Because if uh, you'll see, it's also a lot harder to see without shaders on. But uh, if you have a look, you can see it's got, I think, does that say 60? Flipping that's a big aura node. Uh, usually they won't have that much um, that much in them. They'll have maybe like uh, 17 of an aspect in them. Uh, and when you drain it, you actually take away from that. So when I when I started, this probably had like 67 maybe. Uh, and I drained some out. If it has less than 25 and you drain the whole thing, the aura node will lose that aspect. So you won't be able to come back and get it. Whereas if you leave it and don't drain all of the aspect, if you come back uh, and try and pull some out and like just leave it you don't leave you leave it with like one aspect in it you can come back in a couple of hours a couple of days and it will have regenerated some of that aspect to be back up to like 17 again so uh, yeah you definitely want to leave some in there so let's go back to the uh, seuss shaders because they look very nice and let's head on back up so we've got ourselves an iron capped wooden wand we don't want to die we don't have a bed so we can't sleep through the night and we need to get ourselves a better one so i went ahead and i did the research for the Great Wood card, the Great Wood Wand car, and this thing here can hold up to 50 V of each type, and it's just two Great Wood logs, which happen to have a burn time of 300, and we need three Predito, three which we happen to have in our wand just fine. So, uh, I've also found myself some Great Wood, a Great Wood tree, 
So here we go, teleport two. Quickly try and grab this thing before I'm going to hold the uh, grave key and try and recapitate this thing. Or vein miner, I think it is. And hopefully we should get ourselves a nice amount of great wood. Which we can then use. If this ever works. I can't, I think that is working. I can see like a very vague, I'm sorry it's very dark. I know YouTube's going to make it even darker, but that could see a very vague pattern. Cracking this open, there we go. Woo, look at that, oh my Jesus, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Took the whole tree down. Jeez. Okay. Uh, I'm being attacked. I'm being attacked. I think. What's I being attacked? Maybe. Waypoints. Um, don't. We don't need that much great wood. We've got a stack over a stack of it. That's fine. That's more than enough great wood that we'll probably ever need. But uh, anyway, we can head in here now. We can throw it in our wand. We can throw in two great wood and we get ourselves a great wood rod, which we can then use to make a great wood core using uh, some caps. I made some gold caps because gold caps better than iron caps. If you have a look over here, uh, I unlocked gold caps. The next ones are like silver and then I think thormium are down here maybe. Uh, I think that's right. So we can throw our wand in, this guy here. Uh, we can throw in... I don't think we need a wand actually to do this, but... The, oh, we, oh, we do. Okay, so we need some more ignis. Now, uh, what I should really go ahead and do is label these with what aspects they've got because at the minute I have no idea which, which thing's got what in it. Let's have a look. Do you have any ignis? I'm going to try not to die. Nope, you don't. Waypoints. Oh, no, three. Teleport two. Uh, also, a quick heads up for anyone wanting to do this. Uh, let's just try this one. Nope. Uh, a quick heads up. Uh, when you're making your waypoints, be sure to name them different, give them different names. Uh, I don't know if this is a problem with, like, a bug or something, but whenever, if I, at first I named them all Auronode. Uh, they were just all called Auronode. They weren't numbered. And what it would do is it would take me to the same Auronode, no matter which one I clicked on. It would always take me to the same place. There we go. That's what we need. So, I can't really see anything. I'm just going to hope that's enough. Should be. But yeah, if you name them all Auronode or you name them all something like b the potatoes, then it's going to it's gonna flip in, take it to the same place every time, which gets kind of annoying. So, boom. Look at that. Thormium. Not Thormium. It's a great wood one. The Thormium one's the next one up. I think that's... Uh, you can see there's a bunch of great wand cores. Uh, so, Silverwood's over here, and then I believe this is like a, 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 a Grand Master top tier one. So there's blaze rod, uh, reed, bone, obsidian, flipping icy, quartz. There's a bunch of other ones you can make. Uh, the great one should do is for now. But look at this. Look at look how powerful we are with our wand. Ah. <laughs> okay, so we got that. Now what we need is we need 50 auto, which is quite a lot of auto. We're also going to need a couple of other things. Uh, what else are we going to need? Down to artifice uh, infusion. We're going to need some arcane stone, some shards, and some ender pearls. Arcane stone is just stone and a shard with earth and terror. Which we have. Uh, we have shards. I went mining, got a bit more ores and stuff. Uh, we've got a bunch of shards to take them all out right now. And I did cook up some stone before the episode because I knew we were going to need it. So, uh, was it like this with the shard in the middle? For this, we may as well use our wooden wand because we can still use it. Throw you in there. We'll take uh, nine, although I think we're going to need another set. I'm going to use these because we've got more of them. And I'll make one more set just to be safe. I don't know if we're going to need more than 27, but we'll find out. We can always make more if we need it. And what we can do then is I think we can actually start making some of the other stuff. So yeah, pedestals we can make. So we can just throw that in here like this. We're going to need, that gets us what, two pedestals did it say? That gets us two, so I'll do, uh, let's, let's have a look actually, let's have a look. In here, in order to get this thing we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pedestals. Okay, so we've got two, now we've got four. <laughs> Uh, and then we need flipping. We don't even have enough. We need more arcane stone, don't we already? Flipping heck. Okay, so that's. Oh, we don't have enough V either. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, this thing doesn't. This thing doesn't come with any V inside of it. So we've got to go charge this thing up um, with everything else. Later on down the Thorncraft line, you can uh, start moving things in. You can bring the Auronodes nodes to you, and then just set up a wand recharging station, uh, which will charge it up with all the aspects for you. But uh, unfortunately, we are yet to be that uh, that wealthy to have all that stuff. So let's get. Uh, another one of these. Do you have enough stuff to make this? We do. Good. Uh, I do kind of want to be careful and save some of these shards. I don't want to use too many of like... I don't want to use like all of one set of shards. Uh, is what I'm trying not to do. Uh, we are going to have to go, however, and fill up our wand. So it would be nice if it was daytime. Do we have uh, dark craft in this? I don't think we do. Uh, because someone informed me on the on one of my live streams that dark craft actually the force range can pick up aura nodes, which is flipping insane if you ask me. That's like a high-end Thorncraft thing, but flipping heck, if it's if it's possible, then it's kind of cool. Okay, let's head on over to, uh, again, I'm going to turn off uh, shaders for this, just because I don't want to empty out any of these Auronodes that we've got. So, Auronode number one. 
is over here. And does it have anything? It has 24 order, 24 uh, terror. So if we were not careful, we could actually drain all of uh, all of this with this one because this can hold up to 50. So if, if we weren't careful, we could actually drain all of this. Let me just chop down on some pork chops. Try not to get killed. And 11 of each. We can keep going for a little bit. 7 and 6. Uh, we'll keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. And we'll leave it there at 1 and 5. So if we pull any more, it would run out of order and we would be out of luck. So, our oh, number two is in the middle of the ocean. And this one has some other aspects on it. I'm not too sure what, what, what the point is of them having aspects like uh, Victus. I'm not 100% why they're there. But uh, I guess there probably is a reason. Where is this thing? It's right there. Oh, there we go. It's pulling. It's just not doing the animation. Ooh, almost one of each left there. Uh, there is a research you can do, I believe, later on. Which allows you to set it so that your wand can't pull the last aspect out. It will automatically stop before it pulls out that last aspect in an aura node. Uh, which is pretty cool because then you can never never lose it. Which is nice. Uh, how is that doing? Six. Uh, I kind of want that air but I don't want to run out. I don't want to drain all that uh, terror. I think it seems to be pulling. Oh gosh. There we go. We'll leave that there. We'll keep going. Oh, no, number five. Where are you? Here it is. Look at that. Ignis for the win. Yeah, what I'm probably going to do between this episode and next is go ahead and label all these in my uh, waypoint section. So what I can do is I can just be like, oh, I need some Ignis. And then I can go away, come back and be like, okay, I've got enough Ignis now. I do think we have enough order, though, to uh, to now go ahead and make ourselves the, uh, the runic matrix for the infusion crafting. So... I will finish up this one here, and then we'll head back and start to do some uh, some pretty cool shizwiz. Uh, okay, so, waypoints, home sweet home, let's go. Right, so, we seem to have quite a lot of order. I think order is the, the one that we have 50 of. So, if we got ourselves an ender pearl, which I got from killing an enderman down in the mines. So, we'll go ender pearl, I think it's like, is it this? And then, shards in the middle. And then 40v, boom, boom, we got ourselves a runic matrix, and now we have, like, no order left. <laughs> That's fine, we got ourselves a runic matrix, and that is pretty flipping cool. So, we've got that, we've got four of these, we do need some more of those, so we'll throw you in there and get two sets more, I believe it was. There we go, we now got eight, good stuff. And now, what we can do is, we can take a look back at our Thormonomicon, Infusion Crafting, head across a couple of pages... And we'll see that we need some arcane stone bricks, some arcane stone, a pedestal, and a runic matrix. So, we do need some arcane stone bricks. We need uh, four of them, I believe, which is enough there. We are going to have to get one more set of pedestals, because we need one in the middle. And then we're going to have, like, one spare, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> there we go. We'll take you guys. Thank you. And now we should be pretty good to go. So, is it the six on the, the stone bricks on the bottom, or...? Yeah, it is. Okay. So I've cleared out a little space out here, which I'm hoping will be a very nice little spot. And we'll just go one. No, no that's wrong. It's just That's just wrong. <laughs> I, need a, I need a pickaxe now. Uh, that's just kind of wrong off the bat. All right. Where's our pickaxe? Do I have one? I should have an iron pick, I think. And no, I don't. Okay, I can make one. Uh, I was mining, when I was mining, uh, vein mine is actually really useful when you're trying to mine stuff. Because you can just sort of like, oh, I did is I made like an inventory full of, um, uh, of stone pickaxes. And then once I got all my stone pickaxes, I just went down, used them all to clear out an area, a massive area of cobblestone. I'll show you actually in the mines after I've done this. And, uh, and once I've done that, you can just sort of head on down and uh, pick out all the good odds that you actually want using your, your iron pick. So I'll go there, 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 there with the pedestal in the middle. Then we put the arcane stone on top like this. Then you want to put something here for a second so you can put the runic matrix up there. We can get rid of this. And then I believe we do need a certain amount of V in order to do this. Do we have enough? We need 25 of each, which we definitely do not have because we have 10 of the... So we need more Air, Order, and Predator, I think it is. So back to the waypoints. We'll start at number 5 because I don't think we did number 5. Uh, did we do number 5? Maybe? Yeah, we did number five. Okay, number six. Oh, no, number six. Has a ton of air in it. Nice. So we'll pull all that out until we have above 25. That's more than enough. We'll head on over to order number seven, which hopefully has some Predito in it. It doesn't, but it has auto in it, so I'll take it. 
I'll keep going until we have more than 25. It's pulling out a lot of Ignis. Is there, yeah, there's, there's loads of stuff in there. There's like a flipping ton of auto in there. We could probably fill up both Ignis and auto on this one. But there we go. That's more than enough. We can head on over to number 8. Where's number 8? My like stood on it. Oh, there it is. Terror, we've kind of got enough of. Uh, we need that last one. I'm sure we did have one that had some... Uh, some Predito in it. That one doesn't. And number 10, maybe? Please? Where is this thing? Where is this guy? Am I? Oh, there it is. Ah, there we go. Okay, here it is. Right. Here's one we can use. What? Flipping. This thing's hard to see. There we go. And we'll do that until we have 25 of the Predito, which it does have good stuff. And then we should be good to get our infusion crafting up and running. So 21, 22, 23, 45, done. And we're points. Home, sweet home. And head on over here. Right click on the runic matrix. Boom. Look at that. Nice. So it did it up most of our aspects. That's fine. And now what we could do is actually nine's a nice number to have because we can go one, two, three. Pick that back up. You want to kind of make this as even as possible going around this thing. Uh, the more balanced and even it is, the less likely bad things are going to happen. And for some reason, I thought we had enough there. If we can get three more, which we do, we have enough to make uh, some more. Let's, oh, we have enough to make two more. Ah, that's annoying. Okay, let's... Hmm. Let's instead redo this so that we have one here. One here. And do it like that instead. We'll put down our eight. We could have had 12, but we'll put down our eight. I think eight should be enough for now. Grab you and you. Boom, boom. Thank you very much. Your participation is very much appreciated. And then, boom, boom. Nice. So we have ourselves a nice little infusion altar. We can bump the shaders back on to see how this thing looks with uh, with some shaders. Look at look at this. Look at look at this. That looks beautiful. Okay, so now we've got that set up. We are on track to get ourselves the arcane bar. However, the arcane bar. Um, needs this thing here. It needs 32 machina, 16 motors, uh, 32 profita, prof profodia, uh, whatever that is, uh, potentia, and some vacuous. And we can't put these in our wand, and there's actually nowhere for us to put our wand. We can't, like, right-click on this thing. We can't do anything like that. What we have to do is we have to start setting up some, some jars and some alchemy. And the way that we do this is we need the Essentia distillation. So we're going to have to get ourselves an alchemical furnace, uh, we have to get ourselves some V-filters and an Arcane Alembic. So, let's see if we can make all of this stuff. We might be able to, possibly. Uh, Crucible is really easy. It's just a cauldron, which is just iron, and then you just whack it with your wand. So, cauldron, done. Throw it down, whack it, pick it back up. Crucible, nice. So, we got ourselves a Crucible. Then we're going to need to get some more stone, which we do have, which is nice. And a furnace, which we can make, which is nice. So we'll get rid of, like, just dump that in there for now. Get ourselves a furnace. Don't think this has to... I don't think this has to be done in the Arcane work table. Oh, it does. Okay. And we need some V as well. All right. That's fair enough. So we're going to have you guys. Like this. Just enough. You there. And you there. Wand. Boom. Nice. So now we've got that. Next thing we're going to need is this guy over here, which is an Arcane Olympic, which is a V-filter, some iron, a piece of gold, and a bucket. And the V-filter is a silverwood log and two gold ingots. I think I have some silverwood. I do. Nice. So silverwood, two gold ingots, like this, gets us a V-filter. And we're missing some stuff. Do we have it in here? We do. Good stuff. Take that out. And then I think it was a V-filter piece of gold and then a bunch of iron and a bucket maybe i think possibly is that right was it like this maybe no close oh kind of close swap that like that like that there we go okay so we need five aqua and five air do we have it in there we do we'd have the aqua though so let's head on out to sea i think that's waypoint four no not quite waypoint three not quite. We're point two. Hey, there we go. Okay, I think this one has aqua in it. 
I would have thought so. Uh, yeah, it does. That's a few. So we'll take some of you guys, if you don't mind. I think we needed, what, six? There we go. And I should really make this waypoint inside the house. It's annoying having to come inside the house every time. But then throw you up there, and boom, arcane alembic. Nice. So what we could do with this stuff is we can take... Um, we can make aspects, and the way that we do that is we break down items into other aspects. So I'll put this here, and I'll put this on top. And the way that this works is, for instance, if we look at the, the grass block here, we can see it as Urba and Terra. Uh, Urba's one on the left, Terra's one on the right. It's a bit hard to see because of the shaders, I apologize, but uh, this thing has two aspects. So, for instance, in the infusion crafting that we needed, we needed to have, what was it, like Machina and some other stuff. We needed Machina, Motus, uh, this thing, Potentia, and Vacuous. Now, I think Redstone has Potentia in it. And in order to get myself uh, uh, 16 Potentia, I would have to put uh, enough Redstone in here to get 16 Potentia. Uh, for instance, again, this thing has, let's have a look. This thing has one of each in. So if I needed uh, 16 Terra, I could put 16 Grass Blocks into this guy. And that would break it up into 16 almost liquid aspects, which we can then store in jars. And then what will happen is when the um, when we start the infusion crafting, it will then request that aspect and it will pull it from nearby water jars. So the next thing we're going to have to set up is, is some water jars. Now these guys are, I think, in alchemy. Yeah, here we go. Water jars and labels. Uh, a water jar is not too hard to make. It's just a, a slab, some glass panes, and a piece of aqua. Uh, a little piece of aqua. A little bit of aqua from your wand. So do we have some glass? We do. Look at me all prepared. Throw this thing in here. We'll make a few of these because we are going to need quite a lot of aspects. I think there are 55 aspects, I want to say. I might be wrong with that, but uh, 55 sounds right. So there are a lot of aspects. So if we wanted to, we'd need a quite a few jars uh, in order to set all this up. Actually, I'm going to just make all of those. Come on. Play nice, please. There we go. So if we put that there and you guys here, was that right? Mm, is it like that? Oh, okay. Missing one in the middle. There we go. Grab a few of those. That's We got two and now out of aqua. That's fine. We uh, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. We're probably not going to get around to doing the um, the actual infusion crafting today because there's quite a few more things we still have to do uh, before we can get this thing set up. But for instance, we can throw this guy down like here and here. And there used to be it used to be as simple as just having a pipe, a thorncraft pipe coming from here and going to the jars. Uh, and then it would go through, but it became a little bit more complicated in, Thorn in Thorncraft 4.1. And now the way that we're going to do it is we're going to use golems. So we're going to have to go over to Golemancy. And we're going to have to unlock the first golem, uh, this guy, the flesh golem, and then some golem cores. And what we're going to do is we're going to lock a golem to this thing over here. And what the golem will do is he will pull out the aspects as soon as they're ready and put them in a jar. And if there is already a jar with some of that aspect in it, it will be clever about it. It'll go put it in that jar. And what we'll end up with is we'll end up with lines of jars over here and probably like another tier just above it. And then the golem, if we need stuff, we'll just put it in there. The golem will come and sort it all out. And then we'll just start the infusion crafting and all our stuff will fly over to there. And things will get done for us. And it'll be very nice and very snazzy. So what I'm going to do is between this episode and next, I'm going to go ahead and do all the research for the, uh, the golem ansi, the golem cores and all that stuff that we need. Uh, I'm going to get together, probably make sure we have all the stuff that we need here. So we're going to need some diamonds, uh, which I don't yet have. Although I do think I saw some down in the mines. Let me go show you this real quick. Um, I'll show you what I did to, uh, to get the mining, to do some mining. Uh, so we're gonna, I'll go get some diamonds between episodes. And I will also go and charge up my wand. So hopefully I'll have this uh, this uh, great wood wand filled up with every aspect. So we don't have to keep like going around and doing all the Oranode stuff. And we'll probably have to look into moving those all nodes pretty soon. I'd like to anyway, because going and teleporting to them all the time is a bit of a pain. But if we head on all the way down here, all the way down to, I think, about level 14, 15, 16, maybe. I went all the way down, down here. <laughs> and what I did is I grabbed a, like I said, I made, a, I cleared out my inventory, made an inventory full of, of cobblestone picks, and then just went to town going this way. Uh, I just basically went, hold the grave key, dine up here, boom. That would, that would use up a whole cobblestone pick. So I do that. and then But then the cool thing is I could just sort of get my iron pick out and just do this. And just get all the ores. So it makes it quite easy to go and uh, find all the ores that you need. Which is quite cool. And this uh, it has, we have dense ores as well. Uh, you might have noticed just then we have like coal ore. And then there's like dense coal ore as well. So this is dense coal ore which has a little bit more coal in it which is pretty cool. So yeah I did this all. Actually let me just turn these waypoints off. They're, they're annoying me. They're very bright. Get rid of all those. 
There we go, so now we can see you properly. And yeah, kind of just headed on this way. I was a bit too high, if you can see I'm on level 16, 17, not level, not diamond level, but there is a diamond down here, so I'll grab this guy. One, ooh, that was a, this dense diamond ore, nice. Let me just check this note below it, I don't want to lose it. There we go, and oh, I got look at that, eight diamonds. I think we actually have enough now, don't we? Is that it? Is that enough? Pretty flipping cool. So, yeah, that's how I did it. That's how I've done my mining. That is why I will continue to do my mining. Uh, I'll probably do it a little bit further down next time. Like I say, maybe down like here at level uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, where we're, about to, where we're more likely to find diamonds. And oh my gosh, no, 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 no. Don't kill me now. I have my diamonds. I'm going home. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, I'll also try and find a bed as well. I haven't found any sheep yet. Look at the mini map. There are no sheep on that map. Just pigs and cows and stuff. But, uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video and you want to see more of the Reckoning, be sure to hit like, and I will see you guys next time.